She couldn't sing one for she couldn't <laughs> sing away out of a wet paper bag. That's great, Dennis. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one thing that is common in the best players of all time is they have a unique voice and a great time for them. What's your best advice for uh, developing and um, improving our time field, our internal clock? As a drummer or as, as uh, any player, what's your uh, advice on, on that? Well, you listen, first of all, you always got to listen to people that have some kind of decent time. I learned how to play drums by emulating music. And and when I, when I was emulating music in the 60s, there was no click tracks. They were just great players who had great time. Um, and then, you know, later, you know, getting a metronome and practicing with it, but also keeping it turned down where you can barely hear it and see how far you drift. Because when you stop, you can hear how far you drift from it. Or if you, you know, you play loud and while the thing is going, you know, for like two minutes. And then you turn it down and you see, or you can hear how far you drift. Yeah. Then you know. I'm, um, I'm playing with uh, silence. Too. How far have been you uh, with uh, playing with silence uh, in your practice days? Oh, I used to play a lot with uh, silence. Uh, in fact, when I did the audition for Sting, he was kind of blown away because he had a synclavier going, and I was playing to the synclavier, and then he turned it way down where I couldn't hear it. So I'm still playing. <laughs> and then he turned it up just to see, and I was still on it. He was like, man, you're wow. high. You're hired. You know, he's like, where have you been all my life? Yeah, I've been around. 